Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back to Take Two. Take Two, yes. And uh, it was so interesting. After doing the first two videos today, the computer acted super strange. Just had to reboot the whole thing. And we went back to wor working on clients and with clients. And then now it's working okay, thankfully. Mm -hmm. yep. So, you know, again, this is going to be a little bit of a recap. Some of you guys have seen before along with current news of what's going on, but just showing how everything we see in this world is one tremendously, and I'm doing with my hand what they do, uh, orchestra leaders. Yes, they, uh, yes. Co not composers. Um, not a composer? Not a, a conductor. A conductor, yes. A conductor. And, you know, this world has its own conductors for the symphony of destruction that is going on, and it's, again, not Megadeth. No, it's not. And they, but, they have a method and a way of doing things that's, well, it just sort of blends in with everything if we're not paying attention, if we don't have our eyes open. You know, they, Megadeth would be a good name for them, though. It would. Yeah. It, 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 it would be very appropriate. Mm -hmm. So we see this headline, NATO prepared for new armed conflict in Europe. Another word for another war. You know, and it would end up being global if the talks with Russia fail. Just before Russia-NATO talks kicked off in Geneva today, Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg warned that if negotiations fail and the Western Military Alliance stands ready then for a new armed conflict in Europe. Uh, you know, I want to tell them to go bleep themselves. Yeah. Basically, that's just what comes to mind. And, you know, again... The guides have told us that it's going to be almost impossible to stop this uh, conflagration from taking place. But this conflagration will be the uh, final straw for many people that will say, you know, this isn't the reality that I want. And when we get enough people in the militaries, enough soldiers on the field to just say, you know, we realize this isn't about what it's supposed to be about. Waking up, recognizing that it is, again, choreographed, scripted, all one big symphony. Mm -hmm. And again, just like in the days of old, where the armies would clash on the battlefield, and, you know, the kings and the queens, they would look on from a distance, nice and safe. If things weren't going good, they would book. And they would just, you know, hire themselves, pay for another army, or just conscript peasants because, you know, the peasants didn't have any rights. Right? And do we really, in these days, when they could still draft us into their wars of destruction, wars of never-ending profits, and other purposes. So, you know, this will be the, the last one of this era is what we have got, gotten. Um, but again, this is something that happens with the Kali Yugas. Right. Just like these energies that go on and on and on, these energies that we have today are really no different than what we had of yesterday, but it has changed form. It has had to become more elusive because we're waking up. Yeah, so you see the statements here. It's possible to find together a path, a political path to follow, and also to respond to Russia's concerns, but there's always risk of conflict, he said. NATO deterrence is credible and strong. We must hope and work hard for the best, but prepare for the worst. Uh-huh, yeah. And we see Russia warns U.S. of possible military response. So they haven't ruled out using the military. It sounds like NATO's not running, you know, ruling out using military as well. We had talked about um, that ship that was trailing a sub and that the cable, the sonar cable line was bumped by the sub. And then here we see undersea internet cable in Norway damaged antenna station provides unique support to polar orbiting satellites. Just two days after, UK defense chief said Russian submarines are threatening undersea network of internet cables. Hmm. 
Yeah, you know, the timing, the timing. And so this happened on Friday morning, January 7th. And Svalbard undersea cable system is a twin submarine fiber optic communication cable uh, connecting uh, Long Year Bien, that's what it looks like, with Andoya, north of Harstad in northern Norway. So these cables are pretty damn long, 1,375 and 1,339 kilometers respectively. And again, this is th these are connected with satellites. Again, one of the things that would go out in a big, big conflict like this is going to be communications. And that is that is a scary thing because, you, you know, we've seen so many movies about this. Yeah. About how does the big WW3 start? Well, usually it's like, what happened? Cell phone's out. Internet's out. Power's out. Nobody knows what happened. And, and you know how, how scary that is. And again, so much of this is about creating louche. It's about creating fear for their masters, which reside in the lower astral realm, which we are now basically starting to actually enter uh, as we ascend on up and out of 3D and up into 4D. And, uh, you know, when you, th when you think about this, that would be a situation where everybody would be wondering, is it local? Is it, you know, how big is this? Is it our whole country? Is it you know, the whole world, what's going on? Is it an EMP? Is it a CME? Um, boy, you know, it's, it's just to think about that chaos, chaos, chaos that it would create. And many people are feeling like we're so close to something big. And again, the guys have said that, you know, this has been in their plan a very long time. And there's evidence out there that this has been part of the plan for a huge, long, long period, a much longer period than the typical person would think. Absolutely. You know, just because we're just now starting to wake up and read more, what these entities do is they're very long term plans because they know humans we don't we don't plan out for hundreds and hundreds of years. That's not what we do. But they do and they know how to do it and it's 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 successful to them yeah so as we've we've made reference to the speech many many times a uh, well-known speech by comrade general chi haoshan vice chairman of china's military commission it's given in december 2005 right that's a long time ago but it, it basically said that the way he worded it was, we're not spending money uh, loading ourselves up with aircraft carriers. We understand that there is going to be a confrontation with the West, with the U.S. and NATO. And the first strike would be BIO. BIO. Is that not what we see? Mm -hmm. I mean, in preparation for uh, a Red Dawn scenario, is it not what we see? I mean, how much more, I, I know a lot of people are, are totally awake to this now. And we started talking about this the, about two months after the channel uh, basically came into being, going on now five years. We were talking about this being something that was in planned, being planned for a long time. And, you know, I've had visions of it, although... Again, we can change timelines. We can change timelines. So I had visions going back to 1984 of this scenario. And the guides say that, you know, timelines have changed. It's not exactly as it looked when I had first started to receive these images of this. Um, and that thankfully, it, it probably will not be as long or as severe because of the changes in consciousness, the fact that more and more people are waking up and recognizing how scripted everything is. But he came right out and said it. It would be a bio. Logical. First straight. And again, there's the controllers control all of this. They control all the pieces on the chessboard. And, you know, they said, you know, from their perspective, and maybe this particular general did, or maybe he doesn't understand that even his country is controlled by uh, people and beings 
higher up than the president for life, Xi Jinping. And of course, there was a different uh, leader at that time. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. We don't really know. It doesn't really matter when you get down to it, though, because this is, again, part of the plan. And, of course, when we look at how countries have responded to the plague upon the land, they are using a variety of different technologies available. And if you look at what's being used in the Western countries, it is different than what's being used in the fine dining ware country and over in their you know, allied nation of Russia. So it's just something to keep in mind when we look to how long was this planned? Well, you know, Albert Pike, 33rd degree Mason, by the way, and other 33rd degree Masons, just quickly to mention um, Joseph Smith, founder of the Mormon Church, Charles Taze Russell, founder of the Jehovah's Witnesses, and Charles Darwin, you know, who gave us his version of evolution. And of course, we get people of a fundamentalist mindset that don't think that evolution is real. They believe in creationism. In reality, there's both, because there's been tinkering, genetic tinkering going on. Look to the second chromosome, that, that speaks volumes. And, of course, we have even just the mythologies and the legends of humans being tinkered with genetically. And when you get down to it, there are beings that are literally what we would call creator, for lack of a better word, creator gods, creator beings. There are beings that all they do is create. And uh, even to the degree of creating entire universes, and there are more than one universe. There, this is a multiverse. There's so many universes we can't even conceive of them. And from what we've gotten, they're not all created by the same being as well. So that's an interesting concept. But then again, it's written, ye are gods, right? And you have trillions of individual things in your body that view you as an entire universe, as above, so below. Right. And, you know, you can even shrink that down to make it more uh, palatable. Look at people who simply create different types of fruit. You know, they can mend trees together. Look at people who breed different animals, you know, to make a whole nother species or something with different characteristics. So it definitely goes on and it's not that far out there for these entities to do such a thing. Absolutely. And we know Everything is energy. Energy can't be created or destroyed, but it's constantly changing. It's constantly in flux. This is the nature of things. Things evolve. Nothing really stays static. You're a different person today than you were yesterday. Because we're always being exposed to other energies, new concepts, new people. Uh, I'm sitting six inches away from Cindy, so our, our energy bodies are meshed right now, and they're exchanging information. Everything is always changing, and reality is not set in stone. They understand this. That's why they give us the script to follow in the first place. So Albert Pike, who was a 33rd degree Mason, um, he has a very famous letter to his friend Mazzini, who is actually the person that brought him into the lodge in the first place. And he talks all about the three world wars that must happen, the first world war, uh, it, it's basically, it says it must be brought about in order to permit the Illuminati to overthrow the power of the czars in Russia and making that country a, for, a fortress of atheistic communism. And then the second one, as well as other things as well, because it's all about setting the stage. You know, and there's, there's many people have caught on that the Civil War was not just about slavery. It was about basically bankrupting the nation so that the banking cabal could take over and have, uh, you know, access to things. And then, of course, we, we developed our centralized banking. And you can look to Woodrow Wilson and how, how everything accelerated with, with his presidency and, and others after that. You know, it, it hasn't always been the case that this country was the way it is now. It's actually totally different than what was originally envisioned. The Second World War... Is all about taking the advantage of the differences between the fascists and the political Zionists, 
and it'll you know end up in you know, obviously the great conflagration that we had going on. The restoration of Israel is is one of the key things that must happen, and and that's all to set up the Third World War, which is going to you know be a, a basically an Islamic versus Christian, but other things going on as well, capitalism against communism, so to speak. So there's there's a lot going on behind the scenes, but it's all laid out, and um, you know this is from dated 1871. Now some people won't necessarily uh, believe it, even though there is evidence that the letter really was in existence prior to World War One. I. Uh, I think in 1900 or a little 1901, it was referenced that the letter was real, and though it wasn't referenced in the year it was written 1871 or thought to have been written it was referenced before the three ww's happened well the two so far mm -hmm. though we might be on the threshold of the third by the way you know how did israel come into being who really helped this come into being well it was a red shield which when we translate uh the r-o-t-h-s child name it literally means red shield yeah in the whole Balfour Declaration, which was issued talking about the need to have a national home in Palestine. And of course, you know, this kicked out the Palestinians and this brought about a lot of tension. And that tension has been here to that to this day. So was it, you know, uh, the God of the universe, the God of the multiverse that brought this about? Or was it simply the agent's provocateur of that group that starts with an I and ends with an I that we were just talking about. This is the same family that has this famous statement by one of their forefathers there, Nathan Ross S. Child. Mm -hmm. I care not what puppet is placed upon the throne of England to rule the empire on which the sun never sets. The man who controls the money supply controls the empire, and I control the money supply. So we see all this, and we, we start to recognize the bigger picture. When we look over at what was at the <clears throat> Beagle numbers, and we change that to a D, right? You see their forecast, which was given back in 2016, I believe, originally. It should, no, 2017. 2017. Uh, and that's interesting because, you know, the timeline of the two X marks the spot, the two eclipses, right? 2017, 2024. Here, the forecast is 2017 and 2024. Or 2025, I should say. And what the population of certain countries is going to be, and if you can make it out, it shows in 2017, the population of the U.S., 326 million. But they expect it to only be 99 million two years from now. Mm -hmm. Or two and a half years that's a huge loss. That's a huge loss. And if we look to the other countries of the world, you know, like China, it doesn't really change much. India actually goes up. Russia loses a little bit, a tiny little bit. And Japan loses a ton. Brazil actually gains. Uh, we look at some countries like France, it's almost cut in half. Canada loses about a third. South Korea loses probably about a third as well. Um, the UK loses two thirds to three quarters. Um, it's really curious exactly when you look at all this. The bottom line is it shows the NATO countries losing 437 million people, thereabouts. And yet it showed the potential adversary countries in, in Russia and China not really losing anything. And some countries gained. Actually, it was interesting because many Central American countries and South American countries gained, which would make you think, hmm, might be a mass migration out of the U.S. of A. And you could see some of the numbers here. How about Germany? 81 million people. They're projecting 28 million people in 2025. That's a massive loss. That's, that's enormous enormous it, what we what we see here so you know what is really going on how much of this has been set in stone for a long time 
when you look at these different groups that control the world, again, you see the same families in there. The figureheads don't matter. And when we look to some of the richest, most powerful companies and people, we see there's profits to be had in warfare. Always. And I was just asking you earlier with these entities, you know, why do they have to place the word Lord in front of their name? Yeah, isn't that biblical? Very biblical. Why would we call him Lord Red Shield? Hmm. Why? Why? Why do they, you know, and some will say, well, that's just, you know, British custom. You know, ladies and lords. Hmm. Where does that come from? Is it because it's certain bloodlines? Kingship given from on high. Yeah. On the, from the ships that came out there that came and landed down here. That kind of on high. That type of on high. Yeah. Not, not the source of everything. And, you know, Ford was sued because they did use some of the labor that was in the camps. And we're talking about camps for concentration, not meditation. But they were sued. And, you know, it's fascinating when you look at all these ties. You know, there there was a quote that the uh, Pope was supposedly making that it's your duty to go get something done. It's your duty. Did you know Pope John Paul II was a Zyklon B salesman? That's the gas that was used in those camps for not meditative purposes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most definitely. There's ties that he had with this company, I.G. Farben. Who has company ties to this company? Well, the Bushes do. All three of them, when you get down to it, the two presidents and their, you know, pappy and grandpappy, respectively. Money to be made, as we see. And then, of course, they're parts of, they're all parts of these secret societies, whether we're talking uh, Bohemian Grove or, in this case, if we're talking the Skull and Bones, you know, which, which I myself had, you know, went by this and was checking it out as a layperson, didn't get to go inside or anything, but I saw where it was and I could feel the energy and it wasn't nice. And that's supposed to be the skull and bones of Geronimo. And is that not an atrocity in and of itself? Well, you know, here we have uh, George W. right there. And, you know, it, it's not just him. It's it John Kerry. It was part of this group as well. It runs deep. So when we see what's going on, we see the head of Ukraine's Territorial Defense Forces urging Ukrainians to join the ranks of territorial defense and burn invading Russian tank columns, shoot down helicopters, airborne troops. There, you know, as we've shared, you know, there's women being conscripted that are pushing 50 years old. Um, you know, this is something that is building, and again, it's it's been in their plans for a very, very long time. And we have North Korea firing another unidentified projectile, a new launch. And, you know, talk of them having actually hypersonic missiles as well, which would kind of boggle the mind if the U.S. can't get the technology right. But again, the technology is coming from above, like the kingship's coming from above. Mm -hmm. And top U.S. central banker resigns amid trading, trading scandal, but we haven't seen NP resign yet, even though she seems to be able to call all the shots and just does so well with, you know, her oh. stock market predictions she's for just herself. Lucky. She's just really lucky. Is that? Yeah. She's yeah. just, she's just, maybe she's intuitive. She, yeah. Maybe she hasn't been drinking a lot of fluoridated water. Right. Maybe she hasn't been taking everything that she would recommend. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, we have Google and Facebook fined for spying on users. But it's it's nothing. Two hundred and ten million, you know, pounds euros, two hundred thirty-seven million. That's a drop in the bucket. That's that's probably not even what they spend on one day's lunch money for their, you know, executives. So it's it's really nothing. It, but yeah, we know the spying does exist. Yeah. Obviously, All the time. there is no privacy. I mean, think about it. If we're using Windows. Gil Bates knows exactly what we're doing at any time. Gil Bates can pull up all your emails. 
He can look at your photos to your girlfriend. Well, hence, you know? why do they call it windows? Windows for them to look into, not for us to look out of. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's you know, becoming extremely apparent what is going on. So we want to thank all you guys again for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Also, check out Medicinal Foods. There's a link at the top of every video. Great stuff, great products that can help to detoxify you and boost your immune system. Use coupon code EEA, and it does help uh, the channel as, as well as get you a discount. So be prepared. We know what the script says. We know what's coming, right? They've told us. Absolutely. And let's keep waking up others. Because if we could get others to not carry out their script, that's when the change will happen. Right. We have the time and the ability now. Absolutely. Absolutely. As always, God bless and namaste. Namaste.